These games come thick and fast, don't they, when there is midweek action. We're up to game number 12 in the championship season, so it's time to do predictions for those weekend games. But before I do, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been commenting on these videos over the last few weeks. It's really nice to hear from all the different supporters of the different clubs out there. I, I generally like to know like where your head's at and really in terms of like what you think how your club's doing and what you think needs to improve so keep those one cut those coming i think my favorite has been this one i don't really know what it means but i'm going to assume it's positive all praise is very much welcome and keep those comments coming if you're new here you're probably thinking what are the rules well there only is one and this will kind of sum up just how farcical these predictions are because the only rule is Oxford always win. That is becoming harder and harder to say every single predictions video with a straight face. But hey ho, at least we're not losing. Let's uh, see how we get on against Sunderland, shall we? But let's not waste any more time. Uh, if you can hit like, hit subscribe and all that jazz, it's very much welcome. And I'm going to jump in to the predictions. And we start on Friday night at Fratton Park with Portsmouth versus Sheffield Wednesday. Portsmouth had a up and down week, let's say that. They had a first victory of the season and they backed that up with a pretty poor and flat performance. So their supporters are in a bit of a head spin at the moment. There's been some criticism for Josh Murphy and I won't have that. You've got John Massinio, you've got Josh Murphy, Oxford I'm not going to say legends, but greats, Oxford greats. And if you pack your side full of Oxford greats, then you're going to do well. So keep the faith, Portsmouth fans. And I think there's going to be some good vibes at Fratton Park for this Friday night game. Sheffield Wednesday, did they peak on the opening day of the season? Maybe they did. Maybe they peaked too early. We've all been there, haven't we, chaps? And I'm just not getting much much from this Danny Roll side really they look a bit flat they look a bit poor and I think Portsmouth will sense that first home victory of the season and I'm going to back Pompey to win 2-1 Bristol City versus Leeds United uh, this could be quite a tough game for Leeds Bristol City had a pretty decent week got away victory at Middlesbrough which I certainly didn't see coming and then they got a 2-2 draw at Stoke rescuing that game from being 2-0 down. And they are a better side than they are at Ashton Gate. But I f can't go against Leeds. I just can't. They're, they're, they got their back-to-back -back victories. They had a great win over Sheffield United. We spoke about that one. It was a little bit after the Lord Mayor's show and a scrappy victory over Watford. By all accounts, Watford did pretty well in that game. But I just feel Leeds are going to go down to Bristol, down to Ashton Gate and get the job done. They're going to march on together and they're going to take those points back up north. It's going to be Bristol City 1, Leeds United 3. Coventry City versus Luton Town is next. Two sides whew, languishing down the bottom of the table, really. And then two sides, it's, again, it continues to be a bit of a head scratcher why they are. Coventry just seem to, aren't seem to get any momentum going. And um, I worry for them in this game. I, I just fancy Luton to come and do a bit of a job on Coventry in this game. They're low on confidence. The crowd are kind of ready to turn, I feel, at the CBS arena, or whatever you're calling it these days. And I do feel Luton played quite well in that game against Sunderland and were a tad unlucky to lose. So I do just think that the tide is starting to turn for a little bit more for Luton than it is for Coventry. And I fancy the Hatters to get an away win. I think it's going to be Coventry City 1, Luton Town 2. Watford versus Blackburn Rovers. Um, difficult one to predict here because Watford lost two games in the week. They were poor against Luton, but they were pretty decent from what I heard in that game against Leeds. And maybe a shade unlucky to lose it. And they're a different side and they are a different side when they play at home like so many sides in this championship season and Blackburn maybe not so strong on the road as they are at Ewood Park so I just feel this one's going to be I just I predicted the Blackburn result last time with their nil-nil draw against West Brom and I feel it's going to be another draw for Rovers so not really I don't think either side will be too disappointed with it and I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. 
Burnley versus QPR, two sides contrasting fortunes in this championship season. Burnley going along very nicely, rescued a point away at Hull. I thought they would beat the Tigers, maybe I'm underestimating Hull City a little bit. QPR themselves rescued a point against Coventry. And But they are a side that are very much struggling and I just can't imagine they're going to get anything from this game at Turf Moor. And I just fancy Burnley to run out pretty, pretty comfortable winners overall. I'm going for a big win for the Clarets. I'm going to go for Burnley 3, QPR 0. QPR fans, what's happening? Is a managerial change around the corner? Derby County versus Hull, and I was actually quite impressed with Derby in their game against Oxford. The second half of that game, they really stormed back into it, and probably a lot of Derby fans will feel they should have won that game in the end. Um, not so great in the first half, but they did sort of come on strong against my beloved Yellows in that one, and they clearly are better when they do play at Pride Park as to what, how they are away. But this whole side's got a lot of confidence in it too. Very unlucky in their defeat to Sunderland. Obviously, referee getting in the way of things. That's putting it mildly. And um, yeah, I, I thought that they would probably found themselves unlucky that they didn't get the win over Burnley as well. So the Tigers will go down to Pride Park in plenty of spirits. And I think that they will get something. And I think both sides will get something. And I'm going for another draw here. Derby one, hole one. Plymouth Argyle versus Preston. What is the theme of this championship season so far? It is sides who have vastly different fortunes as from home to they are away. And Plymouth are the epitome of this. They are largely terrible when they're on the road. Terrible. Don't seem to be able to do anything. Get Take a lot of pastings. But then when they go back to home park... They play with a lot of spirit, they play with a lot of pride, and they've already had some good victories. And I feel that they'll be eyeing up another one here. Preston is really starting to do well under um, Heckenbottom. They've really turned things around, they're really looking up the table now, marching up the table, and I, I can't imagine they'll be anything other than a pretty comfortable mid-table side under Heckenbottom this season. I know Preston fans let me know, I did have one... Um, comment on it in the last video so thank you very much but there's something about Plymouth at home park that just makes me want to back them and this is no slight against Preston I just feel they've got they've got that little bit of good, good feel good factor there and they're going to maybe get another last minute victory in this one and I'm going for Plymouth to shade it Plymouth Argyle 2 Preston North End 1 Sheffield United versus Stoke City Blades what is happening? You were going so well. And then you've had a stinker of a week. Poor against Leeds. Latte latted against Middlesbrough. And you end up from having no defeats to two defeats. Even Oxford are catching you up. So you know Chrissy Wilder's going to want this side to get back to basics. By all means, I don't really... I know the Sheffield United fans I work with can't really understand why Wilder did change his tactics so much, particularly for that Leeds game. And they did put in... A, by all accounts, they put in a little bit of a stinker in that Borough game as well. So... They need a response, they need a reaction. Typically when they do that, games seem to be quite tight and narrow and they grind out a 1-0 win. Now this might this is basically what I'm going to go for, which is pretty harsh on Stoke because they've been pretty good lately as well. But I just feel that Sheffield United will just grind this one out and it won't be pretty, but Sheffield United will win. Sheffield United 1, Stoke City 0. Sunderland versus Oxford United, undoubtedly the game of the weekend. I'm sure you will agree. Oxford, the draw kings of League One. Five draws in a row. Unbelievable. When was the last time your side drew five in a row? It's weird. It's a very odd feeling because some are good, some are not so good. And the one against Derby was a bit of a meh one for me. And then we roll up against the league leaders away. We haven't won a game away and this is going to be the hardest game we've had all season I would imagine and that's no disrespect to the sides we've played but Sunderland have looked really good. They've looked the games they have actually played with a bit of style. They've looked great but they've also got that backbone and that grit and the ability to grind out games and they've got skillful players like Isidore. What a goal! I know the referee a bit controversy in that one but what a goal! 
against Hull. And two tidy little goals in there against Luton as well. Let's not forget that. Not an easy game that Sunderland were coming through. It is a little bit brown trousers time. And it's a little bit difficult to predict when you have got this golden rule. Because I'm sure every, everybody, a lot of people, will be having this down on their Ackers as a bit of a home banker. But I can't do it, can I? I can't do it because I've got this golden rule. Why did I make this rule? I'm going to look like a clown. But anyway, I've got it. I've got to go for it. So Sunderland fans, are you ready? Oxford fans, are you ready? Are you ready for a little bit of clickbait here? Because I'm going to do something crazy, something mad. And if this happens, wow, we'll certainly see it. Take it with a pinch of salt because this is a mad and crazy prediction. And it's never going to happen in a million years. Sunderland nil. Oxford four. That is 200 to one to happen. I'm just saying it might be worth a quid. It probably isn't, but it might be worth a quid. And for all you Sunderland fans that are going to type in the comments all the derogatory things about me, here is my response. Um, I don't care. Swansea City versus Millwall. I think I've been a bit harsh on the Swans. Luke Williams is doing a good job there. They're not the most pretty or exciting side, but they are hard to beat. They don't concede many goals. They don't score many goals, but they're pretty rugged. And Millwall are doing pretty well under Neil Harris as well. Again, probably one of one of those sides that are better at home than they are away. But I feel this one's going to be a stalemate, and I don't think it's going to be a classic from what I've seen from Swansea. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a break this week. I'm not going to back you to lose. I'm going to back you to draw. This is going to be my my dull one for the weekend. Swansea nil, Millwall nil. West Bromwich Albion versus Cardiff City. Carlos Corboran, take that handbrake off. What are you doing? You are holding this West Brom team back. And uh, they got, actually, the nil-nil draw at Blackburn isn't a bad result. But when you get that, have it off the back of that 1-1 draw with Oxford, it's suddenly those baggage fans are getting a little bit grumpy. And... If this one is one where they're at home, so they'll be expected to be on the front foot and uh, take the game to Cardiff. And it just they, they've already this season had a game where they've a team's come and park the bus, and it's been a very frustrating afternoon. So Baggies will be praying for an early goal, so this one ends up being quite comfortable. But Cardiff have been very good lately. Cardiff are in very good form. They've turned it around. They've jumped out of the relegation zone. They look a completely different side. So they are capable of going up there and doing and getting something from this West Brom side. I do believe that. But maybe it's a return to form for Josh Madger and maybe it's just still that home bias I've got for these clubs in the championship. And I am going to be back in the baggies in this one. I think they do get back to winning ways here. I'm going to go for West Bromwich Albion 2, Cardiff City 0. Norwich City versus Middlesbrough is the final game on Sunday and I am in a quandary with Middlesbrough. I cannot get a Middlesbrough result right to save my life. Everything I pick goes against me. When I threaten to win, they throw in howlers and stinkers. When I back them to lose, they put some good results on the board and they beat teams like Sheffield United. They beat teams like West Brom earlier in the season. So they're bloody hard to predict. What is going on, Michael Carrick? Can you give me a break? And up against a Norwich side who, um, two draws for them in the week, a 2-2 draw, but following a 1-1 draw. So I'm not getting the Norwich scores particularly accurate as well, but they are at least trying to be entertaining. I'm going to carry on backing Norwich to get goals. And I think they're even going to drag Middlesbrough into a decent game in this one. And why not? These Sunday games have been a bit dull in the championship but i think this one's going to be a cracker let's have it sunday afternoon desmond norwich city 2 middlesbrough 2 and that's it for week 12 folks that's it in the book uh, make sure that you go and put money on all these score lines particularly the sunderland versus oxford one and um i'm going to yeah, go and seek some medical help after predicting that one, I think. But thank you very much for watching. I'll be back to do a, rev a review. I don't do previews. It's going to be a review of Sunderland versus Oxford. And then I'll be back to do another predictions video and then another review of another Oxford game. You know the format by now. I don't do that much on the channel. But thank you very much. I do appreciate all the views and the comments and all that jazz. And I'll be back very soon. My work is done here. Well, your work is done. You didn't do anything. <laughs> didn't I?